a peer group of people where I feel like home, mm -hmm. um, understood. Because that's the family and the tribe part. Yeah, exactly. And where we in ping pong, I'm always thinking about like in ping pong, we push each other to higher levels and, and grow together. Yeah. And, and, but also kind of a mentor to, for orientation and guidance. And mm -hmm. that I have found in Tim Ferriss yeah. um, very much, mm -hmm. but so far he's the brightest star on my, uh, mm -hmm. in my universe. And I think it would also be good to have more diversity because I can project every of my longings and wishes on, um, on him. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's maybe unhealthy, you know. And, and mentors you can find, I mean, of course, like in person, it will be great. But like, yeah, podcasts, as Tim Ferriss. So there's different podcasts that you might be, that could be great to actually test out to find some others in there that could be on your list of mentors. Yeah. I wanted to ask you about Tony Robbins. I remember you mm. told me already a little bit about him. I hear many people... Um, praising him and saying that they got so much out of his attending his uh, seminars mm -hmm. i would give it a try but so far he doesn't really hit my court completely like i sure. feel it's a different still a different group because i think mm -hmm. also what i'm looking for is yeah it's driven people but people that are not only driven by money fame success Okay. Only bettering themselves to the highest level so they can be like efficient, you know, machines or the perfect lover, partner, everything. But also the, the other side, the more compassionate side, the self-compassionate side. The more human part. side. Yeah, the human side, the soft side, the psychological side, the one that is not so focused on productivity and success. And I've found that many people are so focused, like who are driven, are very focused on, on the... Mm -hmm. worldly um successful sure maybe yeah. you could say on the perfect side which is so, not human yeah. right but i wouldn't say that tony robbins is about about that no have you picked a, a, how, how come you think about that when you think about him mm, not 100 percent because of him but of the people who yeah. love him <laughs> okay. We see more like the business type people who mm -hmm. who want to be best in what they do, but not so much um, don't have so much hard competence. <laughs> okay, so if you would actually attend like uh, one of his events, like UPW, like uh, Unleash the Power Within, which is three days or something or four days, um, it's so much about love. I would say it's, that's the primarily thing that it's about. It's just the primarily thing that you will feel there as well. And the people are there. Uh, when I think about Tony Robbins, I don't even think immediately about business or like, it's more the, the whole complete circle of like, yeah, sure, career and passion, but also like health, you know, and food and, and friends and all that. I, uh, I, I don't know. I feel like you might have an in, not a complete picture of what he, he really is about. Because uh, it's definitely not only about business. It's it's in there, but it's definitely not one of his sole purposes or reasons what he's doing. And like I said, attending the events, and I think if you would ask that from people who were, go, were there, they would say the same. There's so much love that you feel when you're there. And uh, that's the main feeling, actually, when I think about that event, that I just felt so much love. Mm -hmm. Um. But I also think when you want to look for a mentor, which can truly be through a book or through a podcast, you know, it should also be someone that speaks to you, right? And not just someone who's like very known or very popular. Yeah, um, there's definitely. very, there's so many amazing mentors that are not so known as well. And so it might be interesting to sort of explore also the more unknown people. Um, or to more explore, I don't know, the, the, the books or the podcasts that you are very interested in. Mm -hmm. And to not just, not ju don't, you don't have to follow Tony Robbins just because he's very known, but more follow someone who's really... No, no, for me... It's and I don't think you will, right? It, but it's... Because, I mean, I just came across him, so I thought, 
I could consider him. Yes, I mean, and, and if you don't, I mean, maybe consuming some more of his content uh, might lead to you getting a better picture of what he's actually about, uh, which then could lead to you actually, yeah, uh, attending an event or, or whatever, right? Or yeah, feeling I mean, more like he's a mentor. Try. Yeah. Uh, Do you have mentors? Yes. Like real ones, like real ones that also know you back <laughs> and ones oh, that yeah. are kind of virtual. Both, yes. Uh, I would say the virtual ones were there first because they're easier, they're reachable, right? Even if they're already dead, you can still use, they're still mentors, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, very much, if I would say a top three of mentors, very much would say Tony Robbins, uh, sorry, not no, Tim Ferriss is very much in that list. I love you so much for saying that. <laughs> I mean, I have to thank him. If I would meet him in person, yeah. there's so many things I would have to thank him for. I mean, have to, but like so many things that I could thank him for, right? And the same for you, right? Mm -hmm. And for so many people. Uh, another mentor is Gary Vaynerchuk. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know him. No, I will write him down. I'm not sure if... Check him out, right? That's all yeah, I can say. Yeah. Gary, what is his last name? Yeah, it's if you if you look for Gar Gary V. Yeah, that's you will find him. Like he's very very popular actually as well. Um, yeah, but that's I would say Tim Ferriss is more like the mentor of personal life. I would say Gary Vaynerchuk is for me really the the mentor of like business. Mm, okay, I, see. I love how he thinks about business and careers and all that. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think if I would say like a third mentor it's hard to actually put a third person on there uh and everyone that knows you back yeah then i actually would say so i interviewed him as well his name is rich hungerford interviewed him on the ips podcast he's an ex sas commander uh he was and so i met him in australia when i attended actually one of his survival courses he was the first person or one of the only persons that I actually, and this sounds so, well, I don't know how, but that I really felt like I could see a father figure in. Mm -hmm. And to give some context for anyone listening, I lost my dad, right? So when I was young, but this was really the first person that I felt like, uh, yeah, like some kind of father figure in that I was like, wow, this is someone that I truly look up to uh, that is right there in front of me. And been having calls with him, uh, like I said, also on the podcast, been having emails and, and all that. And uh, he's been a great support in my life, actually, with some amazing wisdom. And I would love, would love to go back to Australia just to see him again. Um, yeah, he has a lot of online content as well. But it's more survival. It's more, mm -hmm. I mean, some deep philosophy, too, and some deep knowledge as well about life. I wonder how much of the search for a mentor of people, me, you, <laughs> but also other people is about finding mm. your parent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because for me, definitely, it's also mm. the same, like, like for you, like also kind of looking for some fatherly figure of end orientation. Yeah. When you think about a mentor, is it primarily a man? Yeah. Yeah. 